Find your own comfortable place. Yeah, shove those chairs out. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy dog circles. <laughs> Looks like that dog needs to go for a walk, so if you ask me that. <laughs> me, here you are. Okay, for another way around to the other side. And this practice today is going to focus on your core, on your side body, creating some space and some strength. Coming back to your center, take a big inhale, lifting up. Long exhale, bringing your palms together. Twice more, breathing in. Easy exhale. One more time. Exhale. Just releasing the hands, take a big inhale. Right arm floating up and over. Softening into the elbows. And then stretching. And coming up and around. We're going to take the hands behind the head. And nice twist. And coming around the other way. Nice Releasing the hands down, coming up and over the other way. Take a big inhale, stretch it out. And coming all the way up to the center. Nice twist, your way, then the other. And releasing the hands forward and down. Just take a nice little walk. Little roll side to side. As much or as little as you like. Taking the hands behind you, press down, take a big inhale, lifting up. And exhaling, coming back. And just taking your head over to one shoulder, taking the hand up and over. Gentle pressure, maybe walking the fingertips up to the opposite direction. I stretch through this. Neck area. And gently releasing. Coming to your breath in the center. As you exhale, lying on the head to release the other side. Easy breathing. Releasing the hands and coming down onto your back, so you might shift a little bit forward. Big inhale, arms go up and back above your head. Easy exhale, forward and down. Twice more, inhale. Floating the arms forward and down. One more time, taking the hands behind your head and as you inhale, rolling up head towards your knees. Exhale, coming back down. And taking over knee to the opposite knee, the opposite elbow, coming back. We go around to the other side. And back in. Sliding your hands all the way up towards your knees. And exhale, coming back down. Take a big inhale, floating the arms up and back above them. Exhale, forward and down. Breathing in, taking your hands behind your head. Just to roll one elbow across to the other, tap. The elbows, inhale, opening out, rolling up and over to the other side. And continuing with your breath. Just roll through the thoracic back. And 
Inhale, back spread, lean to the center. Inhale, take one leg high. Nice stretch through the back of the leg. And as you exhale, floating the leg forward and down. Really stretch it out. Maybe go slow in the last half. All the way down. Moving on the into the chest. And take a big inhale, twice more with the same leg. Low to the arm, the leg forward and down. Going slow as you reach towards the mat. One more time. Drawing the knee in. And extending out to the sky. Stretching all the way. Forward and down, going really slow in the last few seconds. And then bringing both soles of the feet to the mat. Take a big inhale as you stretch all the way up behind you. Exhale, floating the arms forward and down. You might bring the hands sliding up towards your knees. Rolling up, maybe all the way up. And then exhale, coming back down. Nice. Hugging your left knee or the other knee in over the chest. Take a big inhale, extending up to the sky. All the way forward and down. Go really slow. All the way down. If you want to make it stronger, you can always slide the other leg straight down onto the mat. Breathing out all the way down, nice and controlled. One more time. Straight up to the sky. Forward and down. Hugging your knees into your chest, both knees and gentle massage of the lower back. Rolling around. And just go free form here if you want to take the legs wide, you can do that. You can take a bend in the knees or a happy baby or extending both legs or one or two. Just take a little flow and see what feels nice. Hugging the knees back in towards you. And we'll do a little roll up and down the spine, rolling backwards and coming forwards. Backwards and forwards, all the way. And just reaching the hands forwards, coming into a squat. Just a little roll around here, nice twists. See what feels nice. And then start to draw the hands back towards you and peel the hips high, maybe. Take a little stroll towards the middle of your mat. And take a big inhale, halfway. Stretching out one nice long spine. Easy exhale, forward and down. Take a big inhale, rolling, sliding up to stand, notch by notch. Rolling the shoulders up and back behind you. A big inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhaling forward and down. Inhale, halfway. Rolling that down. Take a big inhale, lifting up. And a little tip, one side. Up and over to the other side. My side body stretch, really stretching both sides of the body. Rolling all the way forward and down. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale. Take a big inhale, rolling all the way up to stand. This time just rotating. Looking out to one side. Coming round to the other side. All the way back to the center. Take the hands behind you. Big inhale, lifting up. And exhale, rolling up and over. Hands come above your head. A little sway side to side, if that feels nice. You can also drop the hands, take a nice twist, spiraling open one side and the other. 
Lifting with the breath. Exhale. Take a big inhale, rolling up to stand one more time. Easy exhale, bringing the palms to your heart center. Okay. Just releasing the hands, it will shake out hands and feet. Yeah, waking up. And take a big inhale, lifting up. Exhaling all the way forward and down. Inhaling halfway. Exhaling, bringing yourself down to the mat, coming to all fours. And take a nice stretch, hips to heels, coming to your child's pose. And stretching one side forward, stretching the other side. Sliding the palms forward on the mat, one by one. Stretching out. And spreading the fingers, tap the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's stretch it out. Pedaling one side and the other. Take a nice stretch through the back of the legs. And take a big inhale, lifting the right leg high. Exhale, stepping through between the hands. Just ease the back knee down, opening up. And taking the arms all the way up. Just a little stretch one side, a little stretch the other side. And then exhale, forward and down. Take a nice twist, opening to your right side. Exhaling, coming all the way back. Press the back foot down. Take a big inhale and lift the hips high. So you might take the back foot in a little bit if that's nice on your body. Start to spiral open to the left side, opening all the way to your triangle pose. Bending into the front foot, inhale, lifting up. And exhale, circling into your warrior pose. Nice, turning the palm, big inhale, stretching that side body. Exhale, come up and over. Side angle pose, nice. We can take the top hand all the way behind if you wish. The other hand all the way across your body, looking up. Nice core. Take a big inhale, unwinding all the way up. And exhaling, warrior two. Take a big inhale, touching the palms. This time, turning the feet to face the other side. Circling in here. Turning the palm, big inhale, tipping all the way up and back. Exhale, come up and over, side angle pose, reaching it out, nice stretch. And taking the top hand behind your back, the front hand in front of your belly. Just holding there, breathing in. Take a big inhale, releasing the hands, throwing the hands in the air. Turning the feet parallel, exhale, rolling forward and down. Just a little roll from side to side. Rolling around. And turning, walking the hands round to the front of your mat. Step back with your downward facing dog. Big inhale, you roll out to your plank pose, slurring all the way down. Inhale, lifting up. Over. And maybe stay here for a little bit. See how you feel. Exhaling, rounding the back, chin to chest, bringing hips to heels. Make a big inhale, lifting up all fours, sinking the hips, rolling all the way down. Inhale, lifting up, and easy exhale. Press down, take a big inhale, up and back. Charles pose, settling in here. Take a few easy breaths. Whenever you're ready, start to draw the hands towards you tuck the toes and peel your hips up into a standing forward fold, a gentle roll side 
side to side. Going up to stand notch by notch. Take a big inhale. And exhale, palms to your heart center. Just releasing the hands, taking their feet a little wider. And just take a nice sway from side to side. Releasing, coming to your center, finding your center. Take a big inhale, lifting up. And exhale, sinking down, softening the knees. Breathing in. Breathing out. Take a big inhale, lifting up. And exhale, rolling forward and down. You roll from side to side. Your feet can be wider than the mat. So if you wish, you can turn to the side. And then take a big inhale, arms go wide, turning the palms. Big inhale, lifting up. Exhale, drawing the palms together for your heart center. So turning your right foot out to the side, out to the front. And take a big inhale. And exhale, sinking down a little way. Inhale, lifting up. And coming to your triangle pose, so extending the front leg, reaching forward. And then releasing the front hand down. Take a big inhale, spiraling open. Taking the top hand to your hip, look down towards the toes, and we gently, slowly start to lift the back leg, maybe flexing the foot. Deep breathe in, gently opening. As you breathe out, you might want to soften both of the knees, just coming in a little bit. Take a big inhale, opening. So don't worry about reaching an end pose. You're just using the breath to open the body. And then dissolving any tension, releasing, coming all the way back. Step back to your warrior two. Take a big inhale, reaching up. Exhale, palms to your heart centre. And just turning the toes, swivelling to the other side. Taking the arms out wide. Big inhale, lifting up. And exhaling, settling in. Turning the palm, big inhale, tipping all the way up and back. Feel the stretch, exhaling. Coming into your triangle pose, extending the front leg, reaching forward, releasing the hand down. Opening your triangle pose. You can stay here for a few breaths if you wish. Or if you wish to take the balance, you can start to look down towards the toes. Maybe place a few fingertips down. And using the breath to open out. Spiraling open with the inhale, exhale, soften. Exhale, step back to your warrior two. Take a big inhale, lifting up. And easy exhale. And just moving the hands up and over, stepping forward to forward fold. Catching hold of the elbows, gently. Releasing the hands down. 
Take a big inhale as you roll up to stand notch by notch. And then lifting your left knee up. To the right, just a little more. A little softness with standing length. Switching over, opening that one side. Coming back to the center, just folding in so you can catch a hold of the shin or the fingers, two fingers around your big toe. Breathing in, wide, so they straight or not. We're just using the breath and see how. Far the breath takes you, so breathing in. Breathing out. Just there, doing that. Roll side to side, resetting. Coming in whenever you're ready. Come over to the other side. Just take a big inhale, lifting up. Easy exhale, rolling forward. And as you breathe in, rolling back up, stand, swing your knee along to the right. It feels near. Maybe you found a nice place, or maybe you want to take a little ride. Let's see where your body wants to go. Rolling down. And take a nice deep fold and forward fold. Let the head go, the neck, shoulders. And then gently bring the hands down in front and sinking all the way down, coming into a squat. And we're coming down towards the mat now. Bringing the knees down in front, coming to all fours. As you're going through a cat cow, we're taking some circles. And just creating space as you breathe in. And resolving any tension, rounding, softening as you breathe out. Just coming to a downward facing thing. Lifting the hips, spreading the fingers, lifting the hips nice and high. Take a big inhale, sweeping the right leg forward, maybe opening the hips, the belly, if that feels nice. Looking out underneath your arm. And coming forward into a pigeon pose, bringing your knee behind your right wrist. Staying high, so we're just focusing on breathing in through the whole of the Side body, nice space for the lungs. When you're ready, you start to soften and fold. You can make a pillow with your hands if that feels nice. You sway a little bit or and to settle. Jenny, when you're ready, you'll just tip over to the right side, squeezing the other leg around just so that it meets the other foot. So we're coming into a forward fold. You slide your left leg down, sorry, your left arm down your leg. Take a big inhale up and over. You keep one hand behind or one hand floating up and over, whatever feels nice. 
Exhale, coming up and over to the opposite side, lifting the hips, reaching up. And exhaling, releasing here. And coming all the way back, so taking this leg all the way back behind you. And we just find our way meeting up in a downward facing. Big inhale, sweeping the left leg high. Maybe opening the hips, the belly. And exhaling. Bring your left knee behind your left wrist. And the leg underneath you. I'm going to dictate where my foot is supposed to be. It just arrives where it's comfortable for my body. The place that's right. So taking nice deep breaths into the side body. You feel the lungs expand and contract. Every breath, the ribs. When you're ready, just releasing, coming all the way down, folding down. Settling. Start to unfold and wind. Looking over to the left side and sweeping the other leg up and around. With a big inhale, lifting up, sliding down your leg, opening to the side. You feel that connective tissue all the way from the hips all the way up, connected all the way through. Take a big inhale, up and over, opposite direction. Take a nice inhale, lifting the hips. And exhale, coming all the way back. And we'll head back to a downward facing dog, sweeping the leg all the way back behind you. Take a big inhale, lifting. The hips, pedaling the legs or stretching out the spine, whatever feels good for you. And bringing the knees down, sinking hips to heels. Drawing the hands towards you, take a big inhale, lifting up. Exhale, little tip over to one side. Up and over to the other side. Exhale, take the hands all the way behind you, turning your head to one side. Inhale, lifting up. Around to the other side. Hands coming behind your low back. Big inhale, lifting up. Bring the hands down through your center, coming to all fours, rolling through your cat cow, arching. Exhale, rounding chin to the chest, rounding the back. Inhaling, lifting up, and just tipping the hips forward. Nice, easy up dog. Rolling all the way forward and down. Press down, take a big inhale, lifting up. Easy exhale. Press down, take a big inhale, up and back. Curls. Lifting up towards your center, leaning up. And just taking the hips over to one side. And bring your left leg up and around. And then to your seated. Inhale, 
hands twist around to your left side. Just feel the ribs moving out and in. Filling the lungs fresh oxygen. Moving around as counter pose. Coming back to the center. Just leaning back on winding the legs of the big inhale, lifting up. And exhale, releasing back to the mat. So you're going to come around to the other side to your left leg tucked in, stepping the right leg up and over. Big inhale, rolling around. Stay nice and tall. Softening the jaw, softening the shoulders. Rolling around to the other side. And coming back to the center. And just taking the soles of the feet together. You're wrapping the hands around or hands to your shins and just a gentle jogging. Of the knees. And then crossing the legs. Take a big inhale, taking the hands behind you, lifting the chest. And exhale, folding forward. And just taking a few breaths wherever is comfortable. Moving into the back of your body. Just being. Just gently. Bring yourself back to a seat. Take a big inhale, lifting up. Long exhale. Namaste. Thank you very much, Mickey. So stay where you are in a comfortable and cross legged, but whichever position suits you can have legs out if that doesn't work for you. And have your palms upturned on the backs of your legs. Just lift and roll your shoulders back and just relax back down. And imagine your um, each hand is a lotus flower. So just take a normal in and an out breath. And then when you're ready, and you next breathe in, just gently open your fingers like petals of a lotus flower opening. And breathing out, just let the petals of your left hand, your fingers come in together so that they almost touch your thumb comes to the petals. And then breathing in, just gently open the petals of your left hand, your right hand, sorry. And breathing out, just let your fingers relax in. They can actually touch your thumb. Breathing in, opening in your own time, your own breath pattern, your left fingers, your left petals. Breathing out, just let them come back. And breathing in, just opening the right hand. And breathing out, just let them release back and close gently. And just carry on with that breath, using your own breath pattern 
to breathe in as you open your flower. Pause at the top of your breath. And then very gently as you breathe out, close your flower. And bring your attention then to the other side. So this becomes a breathwork exercise. You are slowing your breath and coordinating your breath to your movement. It's also a mindfulness type exercise, but you're actually focusing your mind on the point of opening and closing your flower. It's deeply calming for the nervous system. If you want to fine tune this, there are various things that you can do. You want to slightly bring your chin towards your chest, not a lot, but just slightly. But just be comfortable with your neck. It's also focusing left and right sides. So it's balancing the left and the right sides of your body and of your emotional being as you balance the left and right brain hemispheres as you focus on one side and then the other. So it's calming, it's good for your blood pressure, it's good for your heart health. We're just doing a gentle taster here in class. But you can stay doing this at home. You can be seated in a chair. You can be sitting on the floor. It works really any, anywhere. And you can spend five minutes more, 10 minutes, 15, however long you've got to spare. And the lotus breath is very much, the lotus flower is very much associated with um, yoga as a flower connecting out of the water from the mud, which is the mud, but it's got all kinds of connections there. But if a lotus doesn't work for you, then just imagine your favorite flower, holding one of each and just letting it open and close. And you only open your fingers as wide as works for you. If you stretch them out too much, you're going to bring tension into your body. So it's just a very gentle movement of opening. And then as you close, you're bringing your fingers towards your thumb. They can touch, but don't feel you have to let them touch. The tip of your tongue can be towards the top of your mouth, your palate, and be curled a little bit back further towards the soft palate. But again, a comfortable position. And then this is just a taste of come to finishing your breath in your own time. Just relax your hands and just take a couple of breaths normally. Notice how your breath might have slowed down. And then you can stay here or I might suggest you might like to lie down and relax for not very long, just for a relaxation. You can have, you can lie straight out, or you can have your knees bent, or the knees together in constructive rest, but just for the next few couple of minutes, take a pose or a restful position that works for you. You can have support under your head. 
And this is almost not quite like a yoga nidra. Um, and within a yoga nidra, like this meditation, there's reference to the points of the body. You don't do anything, but you just bring your mind to the points of the body, which again has the effect of distracting your mind, lightly engaging it. And it just alters your perspective. It's you deeply relaxing. But where you rotate your mind around the parts of the body that I have mentioned, it's called rotation of consciousness or nyasa, nyasa practice. So there's nothing for you to do, just be comfortable. And as we did last week, for those of you who were um, here, you're just going to bring your attention to the right side of your body. Only the right side. You're breathing in and out as if only your right side exists. The bones, the muscles, the blood, circulation, just on your right side. And bringing attention to your toes. And the space beyond your toes, almost like clouds holding you. Or another analogy would be the earth supporting you. And the backs of the feet, the soles of the feet, and the heel, the ankle, and the right lower leg, the knee, back of the knee, carrying on up to the right thigh and the hip. And making your way up your body, the front of the body, to the lower ribs, up to the chest and the collarbones. Moving across your collarbone on the right side to the right shoulder. And moving in your mind along your right upper arm through to your right elbow, in the back of the elbow, along the right lower arm to the back of the right hand and the palm and the right thumb and the right fingers and the space beyond your fingers moving your attention now to the base of your spine and on the right side of your base of your spine move your mind up along the backbone along the right side all the way through to the top of the head. Just come back and focus on the neck and the right shoulder, the right neck, the back of the head, and back down to the top of the head, and over the top of the head to the right forehead, the right eyebrow, the right eye. Let the eye rest back in its socket. Just releasing any thought for the day, just for the moment. Releasing tension as you move along the right side of your face, the cheekbone, the jaw, beyond the jawline, to the throat. And come to rest your attention at the entrance of your right nostril. And now bring your attention to the left side of your body. Only the left side exists. The left big toe, your toes, the space beyond the toes, supporting you. Your left sole of the foot and the back of your left foot on the top. Your left ankle, the inner ankle, and the outer ankle, all supporting you. Your lower leg, shin and calf, and the knee, the entire left knee, moving along to the left femur and to the left hip, the left side of the hip and the pelvis. And moving along the left side, tracing your 
attention along the front going through up to the ribs, the chest, the heart, and the left lung on the side, and coming up to the left collarbone, then moving across the collarbone to the point where the collarbone joins the left shoulder, and then moving along the left upper arm, the left inside and outside of the elbow, along the left forearm and wrist, and the left hand, back of the hand and palm, the thumb, and the left fingers, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, and little finger, and space beyond the fingers. And bring your attention now to your lower back and the left side of your lower back as you trace your path along the vertebra of your spine, passing through every vertebra linked to various organs, the nerves, all the way up through the lower back, mid back, thoracic area as you come to the space between the shoulder blades up to your left shoulder at the back and your left side of the neck, back of your head and your ears and the space between your ears. The biggest muscle in the body, the brain. Not that it's a muscle, but it's vertically viewed as a biggest controller. And the top of your head and the forehead. Your left eyebrow smoothing along. Your left eye, and just feel that your left eye is relaxing back in its socket, releasing any tension. Your left cheekbone, and tracing the line down to your left jaw on the left side of your throat, connecting to your metabolic control, linking to stress, which means releasing and letting go. And now, once more, bring your attention to your left nostril. And now think of your left and your right side and feel that they're drawn together by your spine, running in the center, along the center of the back of your body, joining everything, the nerves, organs, joining everything together like stitches, uniting you on the left and the right side, the right and the left side, uniting your body with your emotions. Everything comes together. And bring your attention now to the center of your forehead and imagine breathing in and out here at the center of your forehead. It's your Ashmere center and it's a center of knowledge and intuition. And you could also say that this connects to the pineal um, pituitary, the center of your head, and these connect to your master metabolic control. So we've released and relaxed. Balancing the energies of the body, once more balancing the left and the right side, the right and the left side. And the thoughts for the day, again from Rumi, they're very short and they're very simple. And the first one is that you were born with wings. So why would you prefer to crawl through life? And the second is, don't be satisfied with stories, how things have gone with others. Unfold your own myth. And the third and final thought for the day, again from the evening, is that everything that is made beautiful and fair and lovely is made for the eye of one who sees. So take a moment to set your intention for the day, your sankalpa, your thought for the day. It can be for yourself or it can be for someone else. And repeat that mentally to yourself couple of times to set the intention for the day and for the week ahead. 
And then you can either, um, as you begin to partially bring awareness to where you are, you can either stay there and just relax and relax on the floor, or if you want to come to seated to join the finish of the class, you're welcome to do that too. So choose whichever you might like to do. If you do come to a seated position, then you might like to move your fingers and toes, hug your knees into your chest one more time as you gently rock from side to side. And then taking your time to come once more to a seated position, but this is optional. And wherever you are, just mentally take a bow for yourself. Setting you up for the rest of the week ahead. You can bring your hands to your heart or just stay with the bow to yourself. Release your hands if you brought them up. And thank you everyone very much for joining uh, Nikki and me for today.